Good day, PS Nation. AB Dave here, bringing you another Destiny tip and trick video. I am in the tower, and it is a uh, pretty clear, cloudy evening, maybe. But I want to show you um, why you should do bounties. Uh, the best way I can show you that today, right now, is with my heiress bounties. So I'm working on my heiress reputation. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them to turn in. Um, and uh, my tips for this is obviously, to, first off, to do your bounties. You need to do your bounties daily. Even if you can't do the bounties that day, grab them, and so work on them the next day, and then pick up the new bounties that that spawn that day. If you pick up the bounties on a Wednesday and you don't do them till Thursday, they still count and then you can pick up Thursday's bounties and do those if you have the time. Also pay attention to uh, sometimes her bounties for uh, Eris over here will be the same um, as some of the Vanguard or Crucible bounties, mostly Vanguard because Crucible is the, the multiplayer PvP stuff. So there's bounties that you can kind of like knock out two birds with one stone and uh, be more productive so the other thing that I have um, <coughs> excuse me the other tip that I have for you is even if you don't use your weapons um, let's say that you know like right now I'm working on maxing out vision of confluence uh, I haven't really used it very much no nah, it's been sitting in my vault um, equip the and equip the weapon before you turn the bounties in. Most people know this, but um, even if you don't use the weapon, like I use, if you use Suros in the mission when you're doing the bounty, before you turn the bounty in, change your weapons to the ones that you need to upgrade. That way, again, you're using your your time well. Uh, for me, uh, I just got this glorious thing to drop right here, uh, the Galahorn. I got it from a raid chest in Crota's End. Uh, it's the new Galahorn 2.0, 3.2 damage, uh, so I'm really trying to level this thing up. Uh, and the way that I'm going to do that is through the bounties. Um, so we're going to check this out. So if you have telemetry, um, I don't have any rocket launcher telemetry. The the fusion rifle telemetry you see here or hand cannon telemetry if you're working on a Suros or uh, you know, a Hawkmoon. Any of those ca hand cannons or item weapon, the telemetry helps. You can buy the telemetry from Zur for Strange Coin. I think it's like five for five. Or you get telemetry from breaking down maxed out specific weapons. So use the telemetry, pop the telemetry before you turn the bounties in because it gives you a boost. And then you turn the bounties in, you get a boost. So like down here, there's 5,000 experience. You're going to get a boost on top of that. How much the boost exactly is, I don't know. But you pop the telemetry, turn the bounties in. So, and this is what you see here. Most Again, most of you guys know this, but we'll see what happens. And I got a Vanguard Mentor must something. So, uh, and also I got upgrades unlocked. So now you go in here and you unlock your upgrades. It filled that entire circle in. It filled half of that in and it almost filled this one in. So this one is the confined launch, greatly reduced recoil, significantly penalty velocity. You know, so it goes slower. Um, and Vision of Confluence got filled in some too. Okay. Um, all right, now let me run over here. And turning multiple bounties in at a time increases your chances at getting uh, exotic bounties. So we have here, I have the choice of three, a light in the dark, Tolan's legacy, and a dubious task. Um, I am not going to pick one of these right now because I'm not prepared to pick one of these. I need to look and see what these are and see which one I want to do. And I'm not going to Google stuff <laughs> while I'm doing the video. So, But that was really cool. I didn't know that was going to happen. So it's really sweet that I can show you um, that doing turning in multiple bounties at a time only increases the reputation, lets you upgrade your weapons, but significantly increases the chances of you getting an exotic weapon bounty. So... Uh, and just for the heck of it, why I have you guys here, I'm going to go turn in some engrams and see if you can get lucky with RNG at all. Do -do -do -do. And no, no. Okay. Uh, closer to upgrading you. That's cool. Uh, and then use your vault too, guys. Um, you know, just, you know, put stuff in your vault just to be safe. Um, I got this helmet for my hunter that I don't have uh, from the Nightfall. And, you know, put it away, dismantle your stuff, um, and just keep, you know, working through, cleaning out some stuff, making sure that your things aren't full so you'll lose stuff. 
or it can get lost. Um, you know, things you don't use all the time. So that's it. Uh, again, let me know uh, if there's any other things that you guys want tips on. I do have many, 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 many more ideas that I will be working videos on for. Uh, hopefully you guys will start seeing these weekly around the you know January. Uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic 2015, and I hope that if your 2014 was great, your 2015 is better. If your 2014 was not good, your 2015 will be hopefully better. So, uh, yeah. Let me know. Comment, like, follow us on Twitter at PS Nation. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want at D underscore Hunt, H U N T. Um, and uh, if you feel like it, listen to the sideshow, the PS Nation sideshow that's on this channel as well. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Have a great day.